the growth of the internet, we're all demanding and we all want faster mobile data. And one of the technologies that hopes to bring that to life is 5G. But in practical terms, how is 5G going to actually get to your phone while you're moving around? Nokia is showing off some technology here at Mobile Congress in Barcelona that it hopes could one day do just that. So one of the challenges if you want to send loads and loads of data is that you need a lot of bandwidth to do it. And that might require finding frequency bands that aren't currently in use today. Now what Nokia is talking about today is a 70 gigahertz band. And while that gives you loads of bandwidth to play with, the problem is when the bandwidth gets higher, the waves don't actually travel as far. Now Nokia's solution there is to use a dielectric lens antenna, which squashes that beam down to something that's much more focused, and you get a beam that travels a lot further as a result. So the next trick is to get that focus beam to actually stay on you so you can keep getting 5G even when you're, for example, moving around town. So what Nokia's demo here shows is a device that's moving across this room and the base station over there, as illustrated by those little red lights, shows how the signal is tracking to that device as it's moving. So the result is that you can get 5G to your smartphone. Uh, Nokia says if you're 120 meters away, 95% of people should get speeds of one gigabit per second. So this narrow beam technology does face some obstacles, and I really mean obstacles. Things like houses, cars, walls, corners. These are things that those narrow beams are going to really struggle to cope with. Nokia suggests that a potential workaround for that could be that if that beam loses you, your 5G signal could fall back onto more established technology, although you could experience a speed drop in that situation. So 5G is still years away, Nokia is committing to the date 2020, but it's really cool to see some actual practical applications for how 5G could work. I'm Luke Westray for CNET, and check out cnet.com slash MWC for much, much more.